the muscles or tahon has long held a reputation as a potent aphrodisiac and probably it stems from its uncanny appearance. It's the same like banana. It reminds you of something. Also, when you eat it, it makes you feel like it's something. So it, it's kind of very sexy. These bivalves are known to contain lean protein needed for a healthy libido. They are also found out to be rich in substances like manganese, zinc, magnesium, iron, and iodine. So ito lahat na mga minerals na ito at mga other substances ay eh, nasasabi nila na ito ay nakakapag-increase din ng libido, nakakapagtatagal ng erection, at saka siyempre na improve yung sexual prowess ng isang tao. There are also chemical compounds in muscles that release sex hormones such as testosterone and estrogen. Nakita nila na may dalawang specific na amino acids na possibly nakaka-increase ng libido ng isang tao. No? At ito ay yung D-aspartic acid at yung N-methyl aspartic acid. So how do they work or how do they act? Hindi natin alam kasi hindi naman yung total na na-explain yan. Pero yun ang findings nila na itong dalawang forms of amino acids are the ones responsible for increasing the libido of the individual. Kung meron man yung kaigaigaya at kaaya-aya, yung aid, yung sekret ng tao when it comes to muscles and yung kahong or oyster, kung ano man yan. I think it's the manner of how you eat it. <laughs> the way you squirt bait, the way you eat it, people find and you feel that slimy thing coming down your throat, it kind of reminds you of something again. So it's more of what goes inside your mind. Alright folks, before we do the big reveal, magrita muna tayo from items, avocado to mussels. At number 10, avocado. 9, crocodile meat. 8, monitor lizard or bayawak meat. 7, honey. 6, nuts. 5, tamilok. 4, banana. 3, strawberry. And 2, mussels or tahong. And at number 1, Ang nanun ang pinaka swak na aphrodisiac is ginseng root.